It's a crisis that's overwhelmed immigration authorities on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border. Thousands of migrants and refugees have crossed into the United States in recent days, with many more arriving by the day. We are fleeing our country. We are fleeing gangs who have killed our family and hurt us a lot. We need their U.S. support to enter this country because we cannot return to our country. On Saturday, the U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was joined by Honduran President Xiomara Castro for a visit to McAllen, Texas. I believe that in our history, we have never seen an exodus of entire families from our country seeking opportunities due to the levels of violence. Hondurans, along with people from Venezuela and Haiti, formed the largest group of migrants and refugees trying to cross the border. And U.S. officials are seeking new strategies to address the worsening crisis. I am grateful to the Honduran government for working with us to effectively and safely return individuals to Honduras who are ineligible for relief in the United States. Across the border in Mexico, migrant numbers continue to surge. Speaking at the United Nations on Friday, Mexico's foreign minister, Alicia Barcena, said Mexican immigration authorities are ill-equipped to handle the number of migrants and refugees arriving daily. This goes beyond the capacity that we can bear. Even though Mexico is trying to do a good job, and even in the United States, the Border Patrol is overwhelmed. They have the capacity to process 1,000 a day, but if 11,000 arrive, it's very difficult. Though the Biden administration has called on Mexico and other Latin American countries to do more to control migratory flows, the continued surge of migrants and refugees at the U.S.-Mexico border underscores the pressing need for immediate action to address the underlying factors driving migration. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.